So we're doing dividing of tenths and hundredths. And uh, the easiest way I think to do it is to get the same value for each one. So uh, the first one we have whole numbers and whatever we do the one side you have to do the other. So we're gonna move this two places to the right or times it by a hundred. And we need to times this by a hundred. So one times a hundred be a hundred. And since I multiplied this side by 100, same thing. So, and then I can do that in my head. So uh, if I didn't, I could do the uh, partial quotient or area model. And I could say that 25 does not go into one. I cannot make a group of 25 from 10, but I can make a group of 25 from 100 and I can make four of those and subtract. So, uh, this one I'm going to multiply by 100, multiply this one by 100. And then I can do partial quotient, 400, divided by 25. I know 25 goes into 40 one time, so I'm going to put take out 10. Then I'm going to subtract. And then I know that six times 25 is 150. And then I add my partial quotients together and I get 16. You can also do this in your head. If you know that four, since this is another essentially quarters, so four quarters equals a dollar, four times four is 16. So 16 quarters. Uh, so over here, we're gonna multiply both by 100 and the same thing we know that there's four quarters so four times three is 12 and then plus these three so it'd be 15 okay or you could do it the long way as well uh, over here we're going to multiply by 10 on these since they're tenths so i have 121 divided by 11 We can do partial quotient. I can take one group, so I can make that, multiply that by 10. And I can take out one more group of 11. And then I can add those together. So I have 11. This one, I'm gonna multiply by 10. So 120 divided by two, and it's gonna give you 60. Then I'm going to take, uh, multiply by the 10 again. 45 divided by 15, that's gonna give you three. This one, so we're getting, we have tenths and hundredths this time. So we're going to multiply them both by 100. So, so that's just gonna be nine. And this is gonna be 180 divided by nine. Partial quotient. Nine goes in 18 two times. So it'll be 20. Okay. Uh, this one's just whole numbers. So you can just divide that regularly. Uh, an easy way to do it too is just, we know 75 plus 75 is 150. 170 or 150 plus another 75 would be 225. So I'm just three. And this is gonna be, end up being the same problem as this because we're gonna multiply this by 10 and this by 10. So move the decimal place over one, move this one over one and you get the same problem. Okay, and what do you know? We got the same problem right here. Pardon the interruption, outdoor recess. And recess. times this by 100 and times by 100. So we have 225 and divide by 75. So we're going to multiply this by 100. 36 divided by 6. 6. Divide by 100, 
636 divided by 6. You're going to have to do partial quotient on this. So, uh, you can do 100. Subtract. And I can take six more groups. It's going to be 106. Whoops, there's that one. So I took 636. I took out 100 groups, that's 600. Subtracted 36. I took another group of six and got 106 as my total. And that goes up there for partial portion. Uh, multiply by 10. And I have 1,125 divided by 75. So I'm going to multiply it by 10 and get 750. And, uh, and then I'm going to do, if we didn't know, let's just do that way first hand. Uh, let's just say, let's just guess. Uh, two right here so that'd be 150 I subtract so let's do two more and I could do one more so that's how partial quotient works and then just add them together so 15 so I took out a group of 10 which is 750 then I took a group of 275s out, which is 150. And I took another group of 275s out, it's so another 150. And I took one more group of 75. And then I added those together to get 15. This one I'm going to multiply by 100. So I have 132 divided by 120. And we have it. So, I'm going to take out one. Whoops. I keep putting the answer up there. 120. And then I have 12 left over. And then, What you need to do would be, we haven't really gone over this, add a zero, so it'd be one, yet, uh, uh, so I need to add a zero to keep going, so it's one, and then one more would be my extra 120 to give me zero, uh, so it's 1.1. Uh, uh, since we had 12 left over, we can keep going, add zero to see if the decimal is going to be even. An even number so I added a zero to get 120 and uh, 12 times 10 or 1 120 times 1 would give me that 120 so it's 1.1 1 .1. uh, multiply this by 10 so 234 divided by 65 so take 234 divided by 65 so let's just do one group, uh, we can do two, and if you don't, we need to add it up here, so 65 plus 65 is 130, I'm going to take 130 out, subtract, and get 104, let's do another one, oops, and get 39. So then what I would do, so I have three over here total already, and I need to add a zero, and then let's see, I can do, let's just, we already have 65 times two is 130. So four would be 260 
and six would be 390. So it's gonna be 3.6. So six times six is 390. So that one would be 3.6. If you take 234 divided by 6.5, you get Actually, since I didn't, I forgot to multiply this side by 10. So I'm going to have to add it and move the decimal place one more time. It's going to be 36. Uh, so let me do that one again for you. So what we need to do is multiply it by 10. So it's going to be 2,340 divided by 65. And that will put my zero up there. So, 2,340 divided by 65. So, uh, however you want to start out, we can do uh, 100 or... Uh, ...234 or 2,340 divided by 65. Alright, so I can do... Uh, Uh, let's do the 30. So I'm going to take my 65. So that's 130. And this is 195. So it's 65 times 1 times 2 times 3. So 195. So I took 30 groups, now I'm going to subtract 0, 2, 3, 9. So I got 390. And then since 390, and I look at this, so if I take 6 groups, 6 times 5 is 30, 36 plus 3 is 390. So then I'm going to take 3 more groups out. So to get 36, okay. So first thing I did was I multiplied the 234 times it by 10 to get my 2,340. And I multiplied the 6.5 times 10 to give me my 65. Since they're both whole numbers. And then I worked the problem out. So that'll do it. Uh, if you want automatic updates from me uh, or from YouTube, you can subscribe and it'll give you updates whenever I add a new video. So uh, also if you were looking for extra tutoring help, you can give me an email and we can see how we can get that done for your child. So. Uh, that's it, multiplying or dividing by tenths and hundreds. Dividing quiz coming up, practice, practice, practice.